This question, a solid cube of side 2 end mass m is sliding on a frictionless surface with uniform velocity v. It hits a small obstacle as shown in this diagram at the end of the table that causes the cube to tilt. Find the minimum value of the magnitude of v such that the cube tips over and falls off the table. In this diagram it is shown that uh, the cube starts rotating about this point. So let us take this diagram for just before the collision and I am making another diagram just after the collision. So just after the collision it will be just like a point. It is a small obstacle we can take it just like a point and the cube will start rotating about this point. We can take this point as instantaneous center of rotation also and axis passing through this will be instantaneous axis of rotation. So it starts rotating about this point with angular velocity omega. So this is the condition for just after collision. We can find this omega as we can conserve the angular momentum about this obstacle since any impulse will pass through this point during the collision and there is no another, any other impulsive force on this cube mg and normal from ground etc will not be impulsive. Any impulse or any impactful force will come from this obstacle. So we can conserve the angular momentum, conservation of angular momentum about the obstacle. For that we have to write L final is equal to L initial. About this it is in pure rotation so we can write angular momentum for pure rotation like I about this point multiplied by omega this is equal to L initial. L initial is purely due to this uh, translational motion and uh, this is of side 2a. So perpendicular distance on this velocity. So this distance will be a. So this is simply mv into a. First we have to calculate this moment of inertia. Moment of inertia about uh, this axis. We know that about this axis which is passing through center of mass the moment of inertia is so this i is equal to icm plus m into r square. I am using parallel axis theorem to find this moment of inertia. So from parallel axis theorem this icm is m l square by 6 for a cube or a square type of structure axis passing through center of mass this is ml square by 6 for l we have to put 2a it is m 2a square divided by 6 and this r is equal to this diagonal is this diagonal is uh, root 2 of 2a because the side of this cube is 2a and this is half of that so this distance is half of this distance it is root 2 into a so m root 2 a square on calculation this moment of inertia will come out as 8 by 3 m a square this is the moment of inertia put this moment of inertia in this equation and we can find omega as omega from this will be 3v divided by 8 so now omega is known after the collision it starts rotating about this point with omega it keeps rotating like this it can tip over only if the center of mass can reach its maximum height during this rotation and center of mass of this cube will be at maximum height when this center of mass is just above this obstacle so when center of mass will reach here if center of mass can reach here then 
it will tip over and fall off the table Cent if center of mass reach here then its height will be its uh, diagram we can draw like this in this critical case the diagram is something like this and center of mass is here its height at this particular time its height will be so its height will be distance from this to this this distance will be root 2 into a and for the calculation of uh, minimum velocity minimum initial velocity we can take that at this particular instant the kinetic energy should become zero as the center of mass is going up and up the potential energy will increase and in turn the kinetic energy will decrease energy will remain constant because there is no slipping if there is friction also then there is no slipping here so energy should remain conserve so from energy conservation potential energy will increase and kinetic energy will decrease and in this critical case i am taking its kinetic energy to be zero for the calculation of minimum velocity so now from energy conservation loss in kinetic energy this is equal to gain in potential energy loss of kinetic energy there is initial kinetic energy i am taking initial point as this when it starts rotating with omega it will be half i omega square gain in potential energy mg into change in height of center of mass height of center of mass here is root 2a and height of center of mass in this case initially it is simply a so it is the change in height we have to put i from here i is 8 by 3 mr square we have to put omega from here 3v by 8a and after putting i and omega we can find the value of v that will be v minimum and the final answer to this problem will be 4 under root ga by 3 into root 2 minus 1 so this is the final answer for minimum velocity